When you're out camping a long way from home and maybe a little out of your element, there's nothing more comforting and delicious than fresh baked bread and tasty desserts. Even though you're out in the middle of nowhere, there's no reason why you can't eat as good or even better than you do at home. That'll never work, silly. I'll tell you what will work, though. The Old Scout Reflector Oven. Let's take a closer look. The oven is made in Minnesota out of lightweight yet strong aluminum. The panels are cut with a powerful water jet. Cutting them this way leaves the edges clean with no burrs or razor sharp edges. It's all held together with this ingenious method of using simple hitch pins, resulting in an extremely simple and quick assembly. We've asked the designer of the Old Scout oven to sit down with us and run through exactly how his oven works. Well, the reflector oven uses the infrared heat that's given off by the flaming fire. So in comparison to our home oven, what temperatures can we expect? Well, with a medium-sized fire, much as we have back here, you should be able to expect to keep your temperature range in the 350 to 400 degrees, which is uh, your normal baking range. Might be a little up, a little down, depending on how the fire uh, uh, goes, but uh, should be able to keep it in that range. How about cooking times? Cooking times are going to be comparable to what you would find in your oven. It, it's dependent upon the size of the fire and how consistent you can keep it burning, but uh, you should figure that it's going to cook approximately at the same range as what you would expect at home. Are there any tips using the Old Scout oven that you'd like to share with the folks at home? Well, I think probably the most important one is that you want to keep a medium-sized flaming fire. Um, the flames are what does the cooking and the heat is collected in the back of the oven. Now, given that fact, you need to rotate the pan about every five minutes during the cooking process and uh, just watch the, watch the food and as it, uh, as it browns, you'll be able to tell that it's getting done and um, just don't let it burn. Okay, enough about how. What can we bake in it? Well, you can bake just about anything that you, you could bake at home. Uh, biscuits, um, uh, muffins. Um, I've heard of people baking cakes. Um, and uh, it's just really up to you and, and, and your imagination as to what you can uh, end up uh, baking. Mmm, pairing good food in the great outdoors. What could be better than that? The Old Scout Reflector Oven has definitely earned a place in my kitchen pack. Happy baking!